Hey, welcome back everyone. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your instructor for this Azure Fundamentals course. In this walkthrough, we are going to go through high level overview of Azure Cost Management and how can you use Azure Cost Management for reporting, budgeting, alerting, etc. Without wasting any more time, let's dive deep into it. You can access cost management by going into search box and type cost management plus billing. This takes you directly to cost management plus billing options. Click on cost management. This will open up a new blade, which will let you configure the cost management options. First is cost analysis. Cost analysis is where you can get the actual cost which is inquired on your Azure subscription so far. And you can find the forecasting as well. If you want to further drill down by service name, service tier, resource type, you can do that as well. So by doing that, you can either further drill down and get more details about what cost has been inquired, on what part number, in what resource group, in what subscription level. So it's very granular. Then you can go to the invoice tab and you can find out your current billing period. Or if you want to know about the last three invoices, you can click on that as well. It'll give you insights about your previous invoices as well. And you can further granular this report by adding more filters. You can add by location. And you can say that I would like to know about the price inquired on a particular region. And based on that region, the report will again give you how much Azure consumptions you had on these last three months on that particular region, which was Australia East. This is really good. Then there is cost alerts. This is where you can create different alerts, which will automatically generate this alert and send to you. So you can click on add a new alert and give a name for the alert. Do you want it monthly, weekly? And you can put a budget amount for threshold as well. Talking about budgets, there is a separate section itself for budget. As you can see that there is a monthly budget already set on this particular subscription. If the Azure consumption reaches closer to the budget, there is an alert automatically triggered to let the administrator know that subscription is reaching the threshold. If you want to have different types of budgets, you can have multiple budgets set for different needs. One for a project, one for a resource group, one for the whole subscription. You can configure that on this tab. And finally, there is add, there is advice or recommendations. You will receive recommendations to eliminate idle resources and to optimize the Azure resources you provision. So in this, you can see that there is one recommendation called delete by delete public IP address not associated with running Azure resource. So you can go and take action on that by clicking over here. It tells me which VM and which NIC it has been associated to and how much is my potential saving if I just do that one quick fix. So I can Quickly go back to the cost management, advice or recommendations, and I can click on quick fix. So the recommended action is delete unassociated public IP address. So you can click on the unassociated public IP address. I can go and delete. And similarly, I can go back to the recommendation again. Quick fix. I have two. So I click on this delete unassociated public IP address and I can go and delete that as well. So potentially that is saving me a significant amount of charge, which I was inquiring on the subscription because I was not aware of it. So congratulations. Now you have learned how to access the cost management in Azure portal. You know how to access the cost analysis to find out what's the 
What's the current bill? What's the forecast like? How to narrow down the billing? Then you learned about creating an alert and putting a budget as well. And very importantly, you learned about Azure advice and recommendations to reduce the cost by actively working on the recommendation thrown by Azure. In the next video, we're going to talk about Azure service level agreements. So I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.